Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So let me start today's video by sharing the story of Facebook slash Meta stock. Abhi sab ko maza aa raha hai that okay Meta stock has gone up by 20% in a single day. Bhari bharkam return ban gaya hai. I spoke about this stock 2 years ago. In fact, I built crazy positions in this stock 2 years ago. 2 years ago, go back and check what was happening in Meta. Massive layoffs, US correction, tech correction, bhari overvaluation, Meta will not survive, this, that. There was so much negative commentary, so much negative commentary. Now, please note that Meta is a large cap company. It is blue chip. It is one of the best tech companies in the world. And my return on it was 50% CAGR, whatever money I had invested 2 years ago. I keep getting the question and now I am getting the question, Ki, achha, ab ja ke Meta mein invest kar de. should we go and invest in Meta stock now? Can we still make 50% CAGR? No, it will not happen. It is extremely, extremely unlikely that you will see more than 15 odd percent compounding on a stock like Meta because it is fairly large cap. Then comes the natural response, ki, hai, right? I mean, we also want to make like 30%, 40%, 50% CAGR on some of the stocks. So what are the type of stocks you can buy in the market right now? So see, yaar, main aapke saath bhoti honestly baat karunga. I will tell you straight point blank that by investing in large cap companies right now, when the market is almost at an all-time high, you are not going to make returns more than 12-15%. Why am I saying it? Am I giving you some biased information? The short answer is no. And this is the math that you need to know that number one, the Nifty 50 returns over the last 20 year period CAGR is 12 and a half percent. If you go to small caps, mein jao, small cap, mid cap category, mein, then that return gets doubled. So you end up making roughly 25 odd percent CAGR. If you go to micro cap, the returns are even higher. So you can make up to maybe like 40 odd percent returns from micro cap investing. So if you actually want to make 40, 50 percent returns in this type of a market, then like it or not, you will have to do micro cap investing. Now, is this a push from my side that you have to micro cap investing? Seek nahi hai? You have to invest money in micro cap. No, I'm just simply making this video to help you understand better what micro cap investing is, how you can apply a framework to identify good micro cap stocks, how much money you should be investing. I will pick relevant case studies. I will discuss examples. Please consider those companies as an example. For example, I will help you understand the agri-export business market in India. That market is growing quite extensively. It's an export-oriented market. One of the key companies I'm going to discuss, it is a micro-cap company. It is called as HMA Agro Industries Limited. So that is an example I will use. I will also use examples of multiple other stocks. This is not a recommendation that you have to buy these stocks. Please understand the framework. Apply this framework to a bunch of other stocks that you are considering in the micro-cap category. Category, and accordingly, you can decide whether to buy it or not buy it. So, puri ki puri story shuru karte hai and point number one or question number one that we will quickly discuss is that should you even consider doing micro cap investing and in what type of market should you invest in micro caps? Because abhi I am buying some of the micro caps. I discuss all my strategic moves in my member community in case you are a serious investor, you want to improve your investing skills. We have created this community. It is India's largest, literally number one community. People have been benefiting from it for the last one and a half years and you can go and check the reviews in the description and comment box. Please keep it basic. Rakhi hai. In case you are interested, you can check more details. So let's kick start and the first key point that you need to understand is the definition of micro cap. First of all, the large cap comes, they have big companies. After that, mid cap, small cap and the lowest level comes from micro cap companies. In this, risk is also high and potential returns are also very high. Now as per SEVI, there is no standard definition of micro cap, ki, but companies that are less than market cap of 5 thousand crore can be categorized as micro cap companies. So then comes the most important part ki bhai aapne bhi invest karna hai micro cap mein ki nahi and why should you consider the risk of investing in micro cap companies. So okay so let us jump into this chart this is a very important chart this blue line exhibits the returns of micro cap this dark blue line exhibits the return of nifty 500 right so yeh hai or nifty 50 ka return yahan pe kahi hai right so this is these are the returns this paragraph is very important because it allows you to understand the impact of returns so one rupee invested in nifty micro cap 250 yahan pe pure index ki baat ho rahi hai kisi specific micro cap ki baat nahi ho rahi hai it would now become 14884 so 14x gains ho gaye i think this should be 1000 not rupees one this is a mistake that these news people have made now compare this to nifty small cap there the returns are 12x if you go to Nifty 50, then returns are 11x. And if you go to Nifty 500, then returns are 10x. But if you have to make 40-50% returns, and this is from the year 2016, right? So 2016, say, 
रफली दिस डेटा इज फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री राइट इसके बीच में एब्सोल्यूट डिफरेंशियल इन रिटर्न वॉज क्लोज टू फिफ्टी परसेंट सो दिस इज वेरी वेरी हाई ऑन हाउ मनी ईयर बेसिस सिक्स सेवन ईयर के बेसिस पे सो एडिशनल सात आठ परसेंट पर ईयर गेन इज एडिशनल ऑन माइक्रो कैप इन्वेस्टिंग सो दिस इज द रिवॉर्ड पार्ट दैट आपको ज्यादा रिटर्न मिल जाता है इफ यू गो टू माइक्रो कैप इन्वेस्टिंग नाउ डेफिनेटली दिस रिटर्न डज नॉट कम विदाउट इट्स फेयर शेयर ऑफ रिस्क एंड रिस्क भी मैं आपको इसी चार्ट के द्वारा एक्सप्लेन कर सकता हूँ फॉर एग्जाम्पल टेक अ लुक एट दिस ब्लू लाइन एंड वॉट यू विल नोटिस इज दैट देर वॉज मैसेव करेक्शन दैट वॉज हैपनिंग इन माइक्रो कैप स्पेस इवन स्मॉल कैप मिड कैप में एंड हाउ मच डिड माइक्रो कैप करेक्ट बाय सो दिस वॉज रफली एट टेन के लेवल and it fell to how much it fell to 3k level so there was almost a 70% volatility slash drawdown on micro cap isi dauran agar aap ye blue line dekho so i will probably use a different color so let me highlight green color so here so here right you can see that here the nifty was almost at what like 7500 level it fell to how much like 3 and a half thousand level right so so there was a 50% correction on large cap but almost 70 75% correction on micro cap this is not an exception again if you go and check the data from here to here again you will see that this was at 4000 and ye 1000 ke level pe aa gaya tha to isme kitna correction ho gaya isme almost 75% correction ho gaya so to cut the long story short there are two central points number 1 If you want to make a CAGR of let's say thirty percent plus, then you should consider micro cap investing in what type of market? In a growth market when there is bull run happening, or you feel that the bull run is going to last for the next two three years, तब आपका पैसा बहुत जल्दी grow करेगा. But if you unfortunately are wrong about the bull run of the entire market, you will see a massive drawdown. आपका correction seventy seventy five percent तक भी हो सकता है. सुनने में बहुत अच्छी बात लगती है एंड आप सब लोग हाँ हाँ कर देते हो एंड कभी कभी लाइक बटन भी दबा देते हो इन केस यू हैव एंड प्रेस द लाइक बटन डू प्रेस द लाइक बटन सो दिस टाइप ऑफ फंडामेंटल वीडियोस रीच आउट टू मोर इन्वेस्टर्स आई नो दैट यू हैव डन इट प्लीज डू इट इट वुड अलाउ एंड हेल्प दिस टाइप ऑफ वीडियोस सो एनीवेज कमिंग टू द पॉइंट सी टू थिंग्स नंबर वन इन अ ग्रोथ मार्केट फॉर एग्जाम्पल राइट नाउ यूर सेटिंग इन ट्वेंटी एंड यूर थिंकिंग यू नो वॉट बॉस नेक्स्ट टू थ्री ईयर्स आर गोइंग टू बी वेरी गुड एक्सपाइजी गवर्नमेंट इज गोइंग टू विन द इलेक्शन एंड उसकी वजह से स्टॉक मार्केट बढ़ेगा यूएस में भी इलेक्शन है इस साल एंड अगले साल तक तो खिंची जाएगा राइट सो बाय नेक्स्ट ईयर 2025 तक कुछ नहीं होना वन ईयर बुल रन माइक्रो कैप्स आर गोइंग टू गिव गुड रैली दिस इज लॉजिकल देर इज नथिंग ऑफ अबाउट दिस थियोरी बट इफ दिस थियोरी फेल्स फॉर सम रीजन प्लीज बी प्रिपेयर दैट देर कुड बी अ ड्रॉ डाउन दिस कैन इजिली फॉल इफ निफ्टी फिफ्टी करेक्ट बाई फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी परसेंट देन एक्सपेक्ट लाइक फोर्टी फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट करेक्शन ऑन माइक्रो कैप अगर अब तक आपको कहानी ठीक लगती है एंड आपको समझ में आती है पूरी बातें देन प्लीज कंटिन्यू टू वॉच द वीडियो अदरवाइज जस्ट वाइंड अप प्लीज ड्रॉप ऑफ आई एम आस्किंग यू टू ड्रॉप ऑफ बिकॉज दिस इज डेंजरस स्टाफ आई डू नॉट वॉन्ट यू टू गेट इन टू ऑल दिस आई एम सिंपली टीचिंग दिस बिकॉज दिस इज समथिंग दट आई एम अपलाइंग टू माई पोर्टफोलियो राइट नाउ Now, in case you want to learn and just you know keep a track of it, then please continue to watch it. Please make notes. So, okay. So, I hope that you understood the risk and reward of micro cap investing. It is very rewarding, but it comes with its own set of risks. Now, what is the problem in terms of micro cap investing? चलो dangerous, dangerous तो है. That is one part of it. But the second key piece of information is that when big investors pick micro cap stocks, वे तो rocket की तरह बढ़ जाते हैं. And by the time you are able to catch it, it has already gone up like four five times. So, let me illustrate the case. So Shankar Sharma is one of the investors who invests a lot of money in these type of micro cap companies and I was watching one of his interviews and he said that you know what I have picked a company called as Valiant Communications aap yahan se dekh sakte ho right and I will just quickly show it to you so he picked stake recently not very long ago and ye dekho and this is where the price of Valiant Communication is right so it was at 24 rupees right now it is at whatever like almost 300 rupees by 10 12 times the stock has become now if you go and buy it here somewhere right i don't know whether you will be making any money on it or not but yes if you are able to bet on the stock somewhere here in this range then the opportunities to benefit from these type of investments are massive right so this is very common sensical point that i am saying that when it comes to normal retail investors like us we are not able to understand the information that's it second ipo nikalne wala tha us time pe to bahut videos aapko mil jayenge uske baad hardly anyone makes any videos right so today the case study that i am going to cover in the last section that is not an ipo video the ipo of that company has happened a while back so i am just doing an industry and 
analysis and sharing the framework. You can apply it for any micro cap stock that you feel like investing in. Now, the second key problem in terms of micro cap investing is that when we invest via the mutual fund route, now you think, yeah, which individual stocks pick? I will go and give my money to mutual fund, small cap jo mutual funds, hote hai, and some of my money will get into micro caps. And if micro cap mein growth is so I will get a lot of benefits. Good theory, but the, there are two additional problems with that. Number one, that here is the chart and you can take a look at this. You can see that the investment of small cap funds in micro caps is very low to begin with. For example, DSP small cap hai and isme the allocation to micro cap is 27% and this is very high. And ab niche jaate jao, for example, SBI small cap, usme matra 10% allocation is there on micro cap. So if you are betting on the theme of micro caps, then by going to small cap funds, it's very difficult for you to get truly invested in the micro cap segment, right? So this is a problem. A related problem here is that when it comes to micro cap investing, just I have example diya tha, Ek stock, right? It has gone like 12, 13, 14, 15 times, right? Now, booking some profit makes a lot of sense. But, aap yaar, mutual fund mein kaise karoge, right? I mean, booking profits in mutual fund is tough because you would not be able to track individual stocks and figure out kya overvalued hai ki nahi hai, right? Dunia ki baate banti rati hai ki small cap overvalued, mid cap overvalued, this, that. So, selling your stuff via mutual fund becomes a challenge. So, therefore, we need to learn about micro cap investing. So, let me illustrate a case as to how you can go and actually analyze stock in the micro cap category. So, okay. So, you need to understand four specific points. The first thing is that whether the industry is growing or not. Now, if the industry itself is not growing by more than 5-6%, then aise micro caps ka avoid kar do. Koi khas nikalne wala because if industry itself is not growing, then how will that micro cap grow? Second is that it should be very clear that you pick micro cap company X, then it should have some kind of moat. Moat means winning advantage. Ki iska kuch to fayda ho ki achha, it is a low cost producer. It has some kind of brand going for it. It can expand to different products. It has some geography advantage. Ki bhai ye XYZ country mein export karti hai. It has a lot of relationships. Vagera, vagera. Then number three, that there should not be any red flags, especially promoter related red flags. Right? This is very, very important. If you understand that an IPO came out, then why was the IPO brought into the market for this company? Why couldn't the company just keep doing whatever it was doing? So all these points are critical. Finally, this is the most important part that it should be aligned with the fit of your portfolio. For example, if you are a large cap investor, ho, then there is no point in you going into micro cap, right? Similarly, if you feel that, okay, you know what, this is not a bull run phase, markets are extremely overvalued, I don't see growth happening in the next one, two years. Chordo, there is no point in going to micro cap category then. You should only invest in micro caps when you feel that there is a bull run happening or we are somewhere in the middle of bull run. I do feel that we are somewhere in the middle of bull run and therefore I am making this video. So, yes, you have to hypothesis. Pata honi More importantly, I spoke about the fact that 70% drawdown can happen in micro caps. Kal se shor mat lag jana ki, yaar or not, achha, I use this framework. I pick like these five stocks. All the five stocks are down by like 30%. What can I do? Please do not behave it that way. Please understand the nature of micro cap investing and only then invest. So let me illustrate this entire framework in very simple language by picking a live example. So let me just quickly go through it. Let me tell you how you can go use Google to analyze all this data. So ek ek karke discussion shuru karte hai. So number one, if you look at HMA Agro, this is a micro cap company. Why? Because the market cap is less than 5000 crore, right? And I pick kyu kiya? Because unlike most of the micro caps, abhi small cap, mid cap mein bahut growth ho chuki hai. You will see that it IPO'd at roughly 59 rupees. Right now, it is at 74-75 rupees. So, aisa koi bhari varkam isme uchhal nahi aagi hai. Right? So, therefore, I picked it as a case study. This is not a recommendation that you buy, sell, this, that. I'm just simply sharing analysis framework. That's it. That's how you need to see this. So, anyways, coming back to topic, what does HMA Agro Industries does? Well, it is into export of products, especially frozen fresh buffalo meat and frozen natural products like vegetable cereals in India. So this has to do with agri-export. This categorization mein kara gaya hai. The company has a license from FSSAI or the baki ki licensing requirement hoti hai. These are the licenses that these companies have to take and FSSAI ki hisaab se categorization hota hai of business. So this will fall in this particular domain. Next, aapne kya karna hai? Aapko framework part 1 lagana hai and dekhna hai that at what rate is this industry growing and is India pushing this industry or not, right? So if we go and search this data, so this is what you will find that DGCINS ki report ke se, there was a growth of 13%, right? 
राइट सो दिस इज वेरी गुड हेल्दी ग्रोथ रेट चलो स्लो डाउन भी हो जाएगा तो 10-11 परसेंट बचेगा सो दैट इज ऑल्सो हेल्दी ग्रोथ रेट फॉर एन इंडस्ट्री नो विद इन दिस सेगमेंट हाउ मच इज इंडिया इज अ मीट एक्सपोर्टर टू द वर्ल्ड सो अगर आप इस कैटेगरी का देखोगे तो इंडिया एक्सपोर्ट अबाउट फोर्टी थ्री परसेंट ऑफ वर्ल्ड बफेलो मीट प्रोडक्शन तो इंडिया का ऑलरेडी बहुत पुश है एंड इट इज द नंबर टू एक्सपोर्ट फॉर इंडिया वेन इट कम्स टू एग्रीकल्चरल प्रोडक्ट एंड उसके बाद आता है बफेलो मीट नव दिस इज एन एक्सपोर्ट ओरिएटेड बिजनेस ऑलमोस्ट नाइनटी परसेंट ऑफ द बिजनेस इज फ्रॉम आउटसाइड इंडिया टू कंट्रीज लाइक मलेशिया वियतनाम कंबोडिया सो इस तरीके की कंट्री पे ये एक्सपोर्ट करते हैं नाउ कम्स अ वेरी नेचुरल क्वेश्चन एंड दिस इज अ पॉइंट वेर यू नीड टू गो एंड चेक फॉर रेड फ्लैग्स विच वॉज आई थिंक पॉइंट नंबर थ्री स्लैश रिस्क ऑन आर फ्रेमवर्क कि आपको नाउ यू नीड टू स्टार्ट आस्किंग क्वेश्चन लाइक दीज कि वियतनाम मलेशिया इस तरीके की कंट्रीज में क्यों एक्सपोर्ट करते हैं वाई नॉट यूरोप वाई नॉट यूएस एक्सेट्रा सो दैट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट विच यू नीड टू अगेन गूगल एंड फिगर आउट सो जब आप गूगल करोगे तो आपको मिलेगा कि यार वेन इट कम्स टू यूएस और यूरोप दी एक्सपोर्ट स्टैंडर्ड्स आर वेरी वेरी हाई दे रिक्वायर हाई क्वालिटी स्टफ ए B. They themselves produce a lot of meat, right? So they do not really require it. But on the flip side, countries like Vietnam, Qatar, all these different different countries where this particular company is exporting, they are not meat producers. They are meat consumers. So they actually need to import from countries like India. Now, बहुत सारे agricultural products, for example, mangoes, India से बहुत export होते हैं Europe में, even Singapore में. Now, the hygiene standards are very very high. How you handle food is very very high. Now, उसमें होता क्या है कि they are very very prone to regulation. Now, यहाँ पे because they are supplying to countries like Vietnam, Cambodia, वगैरह वगैरह, one could argue that the hygiene standards are not as high in these type of countries compared to US and Europe, which are more regulation prone markets. So this is actually a strength of the company rather than being a limiting factor. So then comes the second part of the framework. कि अच्छा हमें moat discover करनी है company की that moat simply means comparative advantage. Now in the export world and if you are from the export industry, let me know in the comment box whether you agree with this viewpoint. See. If something is being exported out of China, China का माल क्यों बिकता है right? It's very simple कि भाई because the production cost in China is very low, so there is price or cost advantage that Chinese exporters have. Now इस तरीके का कोई advantage आपको मिल जाए किसी micro cap company में so that is actually a good thing. So here if you go and Google and again read from their company reports. You will find a very interesting data point which I was able to find. So basically, management का कहना ये है कि the price of meat that we export, we are able to do it at a range of 2.8 dollars to 3 dollars. But our competitors who are producing meat, they are able to export that same very product at roughly between 5 to 6 dollars. So there is cost or competitive advantage that the company has on its core product. So I'm again stressing on the word core product. At least कहीं तो advantage है. Now. फॉर अ माइक्रो कैप कंपनी ग्रोथ इज अ की लेवर और की फैक्टर सो आपको यह देखना पड़ेगा कि अच्छा राइट नाउ दे आर एक्सपोर्टिंग अ लॉट ऑफ मटीरियल वेन इट कम्स टू बफेलो फ्रोजन मीट बट कैन दे गो इन टू अदर सेगमेंट सो दे आर प्रिसाइजली डूइंग दैट एंड इफ यू चेक हेयर इज द न्यू बिजनेस कैटेगरी दैट कंपनी हैज रिसेंटली डायवर्सिफाइड इट्स प्रोडक्ट पोर्टफोलियो by adding frozen fish product basmati poultry and other agri products right so expand definitely kar rahe hain and this is something that you can go and check on the fixed assets of the balance sheet so yahan pe fixed assets ho gaye aap dekh sakte ho ki fixed assets company ke badh rahe hain so it is highest ever so these fixed assets are going to bring more revenues in time aap is cheez ko aise soch ke dekho ki for example in 2019 The total capacity or total fixed asset 84 crore ही थे. Now it is how much? It is almost three times. So यार yeah, three times revenues भी तो होंगे, three times profit भी तो होंगे. And if economies of scale is there, then the profits might be much higher. Now of course these are all good points. So now next you go and check on promoters that what has been their background. So अगर आप research करोगे, then you will be able to figure out some more details about the promoters. अब उसमें ये लिखने का कि अच्छा आप प्रोमोटर्स क्लीन दिस दैट इससे आपको कुछ नहीं मिलेगा बेसिकली यू जस्ट नीड टू स्टडी द बैकग्राउंड तो अगर आप मैनेजमेंट कमेंट्री पढ़ोगे बाकी सारे डॉक्यूमेंट्स पढ़ोगे तो यू विल रियलाइज दैट दिस इज फोर्थ जनरेशन बिजनेस एंड कोई भी अगर बिजनेस पिछले चार पांच जनरेशन से बना रहा होता है देन दे गेट इन सो दैट इज डेफिनेटली अ पॉजिटिव पॉइंट फॉर द कंपनी इससे ज्यादा आपको बेसिक रिसर्च करने की जरूरत नहीं है अफकोर्स यू कैन गो एंड स्टडी मोर रिसर्च रिपोर्ट एक्सेट्रा Now you need to study all these reports with a negative lens, right? Negative lens का मतलब होता है कि you are definitely studying all this to find red flags within the company. The first was the production facility. कि यहाँ की इन पे production facilities कुछ रोकी गई थी बीच में because उसमें कुछ changes लाने थे, right? Then I read that okay, what is the company doing? So they have actually installed more tech-based solution. Then you have to check certifications. कि भाई इनके पास certifications हैं कि नहीं? तो अभी जो उनकी facilities हैं, they are approved by all these different countries. 
तो ठीक है आई मीन दिस इज अ पॉइंट बट दिस कैन बिकम अ पेन पॉइंट इन द फ्यूचर क्योंकि यहाँ पे रेगुलर कंप्लायसेज होंगी सो दिस इज अ वीक पॉइंट अबाउट द बिजनेस कि इनको कंप्लायंस रखनी पड़ेगी एंड होपफुली दे विल बी एबल टू डू इट सो यहाँ पे गवर्नमेंट का पुश आता है राइट कि इज इंडियन गवर्नमेंट ट्राइंग टू प्रमोट दिस इंडस्ट्री और नॉट सो गवर्नमेंट का काफी अच्छा पुश है वेन इट कम्स टू एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ मीट प्रोडक्ट्स फ्रॉम इंडिया दे आर एक्चुअली सपोर्टिंग इट एंड दे आर इयर मार्किंग अ लॉट ऑफ मनी फॉर दिस एक्टिविटी द सेकंड की रेड फ्लैग ऑन द बिजनेस इज की अच्छा इसकी डिपेंडेंस एक्सेसिवली तो नहीं है ऑन वन कंट्री सो इफ यू गो एंड लुक एट दी लोकेशन वाइज ब्रेकअप ऑफ एक्सपोर्ट You will see that dependence on Vietnam is close to 33 percent. अब आपको ये देखना पड़ेगा that what has been the hygiene standards or what has been the import standards in Vietnam. So Vietnam में meat consumption is very very high. अभी उनकी खुद की major strong supply chains नहीं है. So they have to import. But till what time is this game going to continue? So these are small small points that you need to check because if Vietnam is developing its own capacity or वो source करने लग जाए किसी और country से, then it becomes an issue. But India has very good relations with Vietnam, and this is one of the industries in which India and Vietnam have good cooperation. So at least short term में तो नहीं लगता कि this is going to fall off. But whenever you are investing in export oriented products. प्लीज बी कॉग्नेजेंट ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट हाउ डाइवर्सिफाइड इट इज फाइनल पॉइंट इज की इस कंपनी में ग्रोथ कहां से आएगी आर देर एनी रेड फ्लैग्स अराउंड दैट जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल विल दे बी एबल टू क्रैक मोर डेवलप्ड मार्केट इन द फ्यूचर विल दे बी एबल टू सप्लाई फॉर एग्जाम्पल फिश इन कंट्रीज लाइक वियतनाम हॉन्गकॉन्ग जहां पे ऑलरेडी दे हैव सप्लायर्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर्स वगैरह सो कैन दैट बी डन सो ये सारे एस्टिमेट्स आपको लगाने पड़ेंगे बाय रीडिंग ऑल दी लिटरेचर ऑन द कंपनी सो आई एम नॉट इशूंग द रिकमेंडेशन वेदर यू शुड बाय इट वेदर यू शुड नॉट बाय इट आई एम जस्ट सिंपली शेयरिंग द फ्रेमवर्क सो इन समरी हियर आर दी फ्यू की थिंग्स दैट आई विल आउटलाइन दैट नंबर वन माइक्रो कैप इन्वेस्टिंग इज वेरी वेरी रिवॉर्डिंग नो डाउट अबाउट दैट नंबर टू देर इज वेरी लेस इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन माइक्रो कैप इन्वेस्टिंग सो आपको क्लियर इन्फॉर्मेशन कभी भी नहीं मिलेगी आप कितनी भी पढ़ाई कर लो उसमें यू विल हैव टू गो बाय सर्टन गट अजम्पन नंबर थ्री इफ यू यूज द फोर पॉइंट फ्रेमवर्क दैट आई हैव टॉट यू इन दिस particular video then you will be able to avoid major mistakes that anyone could make in micro cap investing number 4 in order to truly benefit from micro cap investing you will have to take some direct exposure to micro caps varna aap exit nahi kar paoge kabhi bhi whenever massive growth happens in it and it's always a good time to book little bit of profit jaise jaise 4x 5x agar ho jaye stock then you should definitely book some profits on that particular stock finally in terms of micro cap investing one point that i had not covered was regarding the share holding pattern of promoters and the cleanliness of the promoter dekho cleanliness to pata nahi kar sakte but uh, the promoter ki history hum pata kar sakte hain and you can also check how fiis and diis are behaving in that stock for example main aapko hma agro ko hi dikha deta hu jaise for example promoters have very high promoter holding so 83.61% hai as per sebi rules unko 3 saal mein 75 karni padegi so are fiis diis buying this stock yes they have presence in this stock already abhi diis ne nahi khareedi hai but agar aisa hota hai ki for example ye 83 se apni 75 kar dete hain and diis or fiis pick that holding then that will be a very strong point for these type of स्टॉक्स राइट एंड अच्छा फाइनली कि इसमें आप बहुत चलते चलाते शेयरों में इन्वेस्ट मत कर देना द रिस्क प्रोफाइल इज वेरी हाई कि जहां पे स्टॉक 15, 15, 20, 20 टाइम्स हो चुके हैं उसमें आप जाके लगा दो पैसा तो यार यू नो देर इज सच वेरी गुड चांस दैट इट माइट करेक्ट ऐसे स्टॉक्स को आपको करेक्शन पे खरीदना चाहिए मेरे साथ आई होप दैट यू इंजॉयड वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो ऑन टूमोज यूट्यूब मेंबर कम्युनिटी आई एम गोइंग टू स्पीक अबाउट अ कपल ऑफ माइक्रो कैप्स एंड आई विल गिव यू मोर डिटेल समरी रिगार्डिंग द सेम थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग एंड आई सी यू सो